over the net. They're about to get knocked, knocked out of their comfort zone. Nishida brings it. Let's see what he's got. Yeah, there you go. Different game now, isn't it? Hope rips one back. If they got a block on it. Because Ishikawa is scrambling around, but they've got it back under control with Hope. The block's there. Containing again. Backside they go. Werner and he misses. A little bit of pressure coming. Suddenly, Canada are now having to fight a little bit. One of those points comes back. Canada side out there at set point. If Japan take another one, they're breathing now. Canada's next. Big moment in this first set. Nishida sends another one in Mars all over the place with that one. Tough take this. Yeah. Now they can pick it up with Ishikawa. The Hogue's got under it, but they really are playing full-on defense here. Hogue goes for a massive swing, gets a touch, takes it to set point. That's a very important swing. That should get Canada over the line here. Fujimi will come into set. Nishida will sit back down again. I suspect we'll see him at the start of the second set, though. He may even come back if they side out here. Canada send that one too long. Just floated in the air there for Daniel Jansen Van Dorn. He tried to not drop it on the line. No, Nishida does not come back in. But Ishikawa's got a serve on him as well. Two points needed to extend this beyond 25 points. For Japan. Here's the first one, but it's too long. First blood, Canada. They were comfortable for most of that first set. If he gets an ace here, Japan will be sweating. <laughs> there is a collective sigh of relief around this arena. As that one skidded off the net court and just dropped the wrong side of the line for Japan. That was a let off. Hiro Amauchi then. Vernon misses, but it took a touch. Sizzles that one. Come, 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 this is going to be a problem, isn't it? Tough take for there from Ishikawa. Easy pick up for Marshall. Oh, easy pull away. So they are bouncing here. Canada Lucas Van Vogel as they sense they might have a way back into this set after all. Canada looked out of touch. But almost in a position to get Japan really sweating. There's got to be side out for Japan. They can't allow this to get any closer. Hope goes for a big one again. Yanagida picks that up. Yamauchi picks that up. Shimizu wraps one off the block. They had a block there. Shimizu just too good for it. Hard work this for Japan, though. It's the 11th game out of 15 days for all these teams. It does take its toll. Tough to stay sharp, sharp and fresh. It's a beauty there from Shimizu. Hoag's done really well. Mara just has to push it. Shimizu picks that up. And it'll go to Ishikawa, who will send that on it. But... And that should be it. Set point, Japan. A specialist. Libero might just have got under that. I'm not sure what they've been able to do with it from there, but Stephen Marshall gave it everything he had, just couldn't quite get there. So it is. It's Japan serving for the second set. Shimizu. Oh, it's a beauty. Marshall couldn't get it. It's an ace. That's a beauty. They love it. Here in the green arena in Hiroshima. Japan have bounced back beautifully. Yenenko. 
Is in a beauty. Nagida's done a brilliant job again. And will they get this under control? Yes, they will. Ma with a tough take. Shimizu rips it down the line. Oh, this is terrific. Lovely backside set. Shimizu's face to block, but manages to just slip it inside. Stephen Ma. And away. Ma had a chance at it, but it was a tough take. Triple substitution for Japan. What about this? Nishida, Ishikawa, Sakita all coming in. That's a big switch up. Canada, of course, immediately have to respond with a timeout. So, wholesale changes on court for Japan then. A triple substitution. Subasa Hisahara serving at 23 21. Ma takes. What a beautiful cross court put away from Bernard. Still, Canada tucked in. But they're running out of time to get this point back. If this one is a side out, Japan are at set point. What can Bernard find here? It's into the net. Getting set point. It's Haku Lee going back to serve. Lots of big blockers up there for Japan. This is going to be a 2 1 Japan lead. Lee sends this one over. Nice take from Ho. Got to be good from Ma. Kept up brilliantly. Can they push something here? Ishikawa denied. Where is that going to go? Well, now they might be able to transition out here with Ishikawa. Vernon's kept it alive. Somehow Marshall sends it back side. That's a tricky one. Somehow it stayed alive from Ma. Marshall brilliant again. Ho over to Ma. And there's a whistle. And there was an encroachment into the net there. So that's Canada's point. That's a big, big anti-climax. Both teams had chances. Both teams played some outstanding defense there as well. And that's typical Canada. They fight you for everything. That was some rally. With the anti-climax ending. Canada don't care about that. They've got to find a point right here on the Stephen Barr serve. They've been chasing and chasing and chasing after that early lead. They've hung close. Can they level it up? No, they can't. Barr with the netter. Japan take the third set. That was a grinding battle that went right down to the wire. But Japan ended up on the right. Shimizu drops it in. Demyanenko doesn't do a great job with that. Ma with the take. That's clever. That's clever. Huge, huge separation between the front row and the back row there. All Ma had to do was drop it in the middle, which he did. Still level. Demyanenko trying to get Canada back in front. Not a great take. Isahara gets blocked. Kept alive somehow. No play there though. That's all on service reception again. They keep putting themselves in bad spots here, Canada. Yanagida just had a tough, tough time on service reception. The triple substitution, Nishida, Ishikawa, Sekita, all coming in. And that's been very warmly received, and it's Yanagida, one of the three that's going. Shiki gone as well. And Shimizu. Well, they're going to try and go for the finish here. First, they've got to get side out here, Japan. Danny Demyanenko with a serve that could take Canada to set point. <laughs> Tough take. Yeah, this might be coming back. Ma, it is. It's a beauty. Canada going to set point.
Yuki Sahara has to serve to try and keep Japan in this fourth set. It's an easy take for Ma. Ma will look for the put away and gets it. What else did you expect? This is Canada. Five setters is what they do. They're going to do another one. He's now happy. Everyone's happy. What has that delay done to Nishida? Well, Miles or other hopes got under it. And it's back. And surely this is too much in for Canada to come back from. It's another absolute beauty of a serve. They fake the swing. And it's Akihiro Yamauchi with the stuff to send Canada surely packing. They can't come back from this. Checks out, Barnes in, but the damage has been done, and surely there's no coming back from this. Japan, two points from wrapping this one up. It's another beauty, it's an ace again. Unbelievable from Yuji Nishida. Went straight after Barnes, who rather stepped in front of home. They couldn't cope with it at all, could they? We are at match point. Four aces out of five serves have absolutely destroyed Canada. They call a timeout. They might as well wave a white flag. That's my bad. I took that one. serving to finally put Canada on the brink. Can he wrap it up? Can he wrap up the competition with yet another race? Here he goes. He has. He has. Unbelievable. Incredible. What a finish for Japan. What a way to end the 2019 FIVB World Cup. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and make sure to subscribe to Power Volleyball for more volleyball videos.